Circular defense of Ukrainian Kupiansk. Expert explains how it works and why it is important. Kupiansk will be defended by a circular defense system following the example of Kharkiv. This will allow for the effective and secure movement of troops in case the enemy exerts pressure. The construction of a circular defense system in Kupiansk was previously announced by the head of the Kharkiv Regional Military Administration, Oleg Sainhubov. He did not disclose details but emphasized that it would consist of several rings of defensive structures. Military expert and reserve major of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksiy Hetman, explained in a comment to RBC Ukraine that circular defense is designed to prevent the enemy from approaching from various directions. It is a defense and, one might say, a rocky road at the same time. If the circular defense is completely closed, you can move troops quickly. Relatively speaking, if we can bypass Kupiansk through the trenches, it will give us a serious advantage. After all, we will be able to quickly and, most importantly, safely move forces to where the enemy is trying to put pressure, he said. It is also known that near Liman Juyi, the Russians have relocated engineering units. This may indicate that the occupiers are preparing for a crossing over the Oskil River. Military political observer of the information resistance group, Alexander Kovalenko, does not rule out the possibility that the Russians will attempt to cross to the opposite bank of North Kupiansk. This is one of the options. They could also try to cross the border, but there are our defense lines there. Most likely, the Russian command has concluded that it is easier for them to force the river than to enter from the territory of the Russian Federation by land, he says in an interview with the agency. Kupiansk and part of the border territories of the Kharkiv region were captured by the Russians in the first weeks of the full-scale invasion. These territories were liberated during the Ukrainian Armed Forces counter-offensive in the fall of 2022. Currently, the occupiers do not give up attempts to capture Kupiansk again to create a buffer zone around the Luhansk region. Ukrainian forces prevent the enemy from advancing.